United States of America. These days, Marilyn Lloyd epitomizes a confident politician, well-liked, admired, and in touch with her constituents. But any look back at Marilyn Lloyd must begin with Mort Lloyd, the dominant Chattanooga newsman of his day. Mort gave up the anchor chair in 1974 to run for Congress, but in the middle of the campaign, he died in a plane crash. His widow, Marilyn, was nominated to take his place, and last week she talked to us about that. The interview was shot by Tommy Eason, who worked with Mort in the early days of local TV. Because there are a lot of people that really thought the world was coming to an end when I got elected. And I talked with them, I sought their counsel, I sought their advice, and a lot of those people became part of my team. It was a team that served her well through 20 years and 10 winning campaigns. And while she'll miss the challenges and accomplishments, she says life in the Capitol isn't all glamour and parties. It takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of, of sacrificing on the part of your family as well. As she leaves office, Congresswoman Lloyd's family ranges from her 100-year-old mother to her 9-year-old grandson. There's also husband Bob Fowler, with whom she's planning a great deal of travel. They're shown here with the Clintons, but somewhat surprisingly, it's a Republican president she remembers most fondly, George Bush. The day that Bob and I were married, he called me at my apartment to congratulate me. And he, he was always a good personal friend. Philosophically, yes, we differed at times, but he was a great friend, and he certainly knew how to work with the Congress. And I think that's evident with some of the legislation that was passed with the help of Democrats because of the respect that many Democrats had for George Bush. On the local level, Marilyn Lloyd is most proud of helping fund the C.B. Robinson Bridge, along with downtown and riverfront development. She and her supporters sometimes wonder if she ever got appropriate recognition for her role in Chattanooga's rebirth. We really were able to provide this funding, and so many times we weren't appreciated because it became an issue of Republicans versus Democrats. They didn't realize, hey, we've got something good going for us, but by and large, David, any time that you've been elected, ten times you are appreciated.